So, welcome back. Um, today I'm going to show you uh, a few of my new islands and what I've been working on the last couple of days. So this is one of the islands I've been working on. This is actually uh, a parkour island, you can probably see that from here. And I'm currently walking around in the hub. I like to make like a hub, I like I can look at the map, like a small area where you have like a lot of things to look at. Uh, so you don't actually, uh, when, you, when you're not doing the parkour, it's totally fine. So, from here you can also see people play. And my parkour, this world has the theme that it's all on the same level. So, not going up or down. I'm just going straight. Well, you could say that maybe the bit with the, the house there goes down maybe like one block. Um, but technically that's not true because it's with ladders. But you, the ladders are not rendered in. So I will probably show you. I will um, I will go do the parkour and cut to the one where I succeed. Though a tip with this parkour, you need to take your armor off because armor um, weighs you down quite a lot. So three, two, one, go. Okay, so I made it. Um, it took me a few tries. This is not my highest score. You can check my highest score is 1 minute and 20 seconds, which was beat by P Hum by like a few milliseconds. So this is the end platform. Um, it has like gold piles and gold objects and, and a big ass tower so you can climb up. And here is another bench and then you can watch over all the people play at a higher perspective and they know that you win. So. This is one of the islands I've been working on. I've not only been working on this this one, um, I've also been working on uh, on a climbing course, which is actually, I made that before this one. So let's head over there. So welcome to my climbing course. Um, this is one, another one of my parkour islands. Let's see, how is the scoreboard doing? A lot of people have been playing it. P-Hump again. Beats, beats me quite well with the time. Here is not that much decoration. This was more a uh, simple try to make this. Um, due to some rendering issues, you don't see the ladders on here. This is a climbing challenge and I can recommend playing this uh, again without armor on and also playing this in third person. So I'll try to show it off in third person. So let's, let's go this route, like the quick route. Uh, okay, I failed again. Uh, let's basically there are multiple routes on this on this thing uh, uh, going left and right and there are some harder and difficult ones but they are really a lot quicker so we're already there it's a really short one that's why you can do it in nine seconds um, okay let's I'm probably dead now yep I'm dead so uh, let me go point out a bit what the idea behind it is you can probably see that from this uh, 
this direction, let me go back. So first you see pathway up, it goes left here, that's like the harder route. And then here is the, sh uh, the slower route, which allows you to go like back and forth and up and down, but has like a lot of space. This you can do quite fast. As you can see, you can get up there in nine seconds. Even climbing up there with a normal ladder would take more than nine seconds. So it's really still based. So let's go see what other things I've been doing. Uh, let's go check out what my home island is like. My home island is still just crap. My arena is still just... Well, I didn't even start that much yet. I uh, just tore down the place a little. So now let's head to the project I'm currently working on, which I find really exciting and uh, seems to be very different from other things that people have been doing. So this is my last world. Again, just like my other one, it has sort of a hub room. Um, this world is actually a co-op puzzle map. Um, and you might think like, what, a co-op and puzzle and how the hell are you going to do that? I can do that. Um, using like piston or like how they call those spring traps and, and doors you can make a co-op thing so this area is unfinished yet i still need to dec decorate a lot of stuff here but the main uh, idea behind it is here so right here you have a door which is blocked i can remove it because i still have building rights but in the end people won't be able to remove this uh, so how do you get there you see a hole there but just as a normal player you can't jump up there so you need to jump on another player's head and he needs to jump and you can get up there I will cheat now so I will try get up there in a cheaty way so let's say a player now jump me on here now I'm here and now I need to make sure that that door opens up for him so let's go open a door so to open a door so here we have another door this door has to be closed so this door closes this is the lock. We unlock it. Now this door is open. But we can't open this door. So it's not like uh, we can only open that door when this door is closed. So now the player comes in like, oh, la la, thank you for letting me in. Then you close the door again. And you lock it again. And then you can go through this door. So you go to the first chamber. And that was technically the first chamber, but this is actually the first real testing chamber. And you might be like, okay, uh, a lot of stuff happens again. I want to decorate this place fully, I put some down yet, but I'm not really sure what I want to do with this square thing here. So let's go over, um, actually the first puzzle, I will try not spoil all the other puzzles in case you guys want to actually test it or see me do this. So this is one of the first ones and that's with the door here. If you open it, it moves different locations, just like you know with doors. So I need to get on top of that. Then if you open this door, you can see you can now jump on there, which then you can jump there, and then you can jump around. And then if we close the door again, you can jump right there, jump over there and there. So you're like, yay, there's one player is inside that tower now. Now the other player has to jump uh, across by here. Uh, oh, <sighs> fuck. <laughs> I hate the small parkour. You, it seems so easy and then and you just fail. So the other player comes in here and there's another door and he has to jump and then you have to make sure that he can jump on there to jump over there, 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 all the way up to there and then you have to close it again and then he has to run against the wall to get inside there. Just for testing sake I will I will show uh, next area a bit. Let me remove this so I don't forget. So then this person gets into this hallway again, they run through the hallway because why not and then there's another hole which they drop down and we have the locking mechanism again so close the door uh, open the lock and open the door now that person can walk through and you can have fun and then you close the door again lock it and open the door so this is the room I uh, I, I ended up working on yesterday so you can see it's not done yet there's even a hole here for some reason so uh, it has a lot of work to do. 
In this room I'm planning to do uh, long jumps by standing on players' heads and pistons because I think when you have, or not pistons, like the spring trap, I think if you have a spring trap right here and a player is standing here and the other player is standing here but with a roof, so let's say there's a spring trap and I walk here, this player just gets hit against the roof but this player who's outside of the thing will shoot up. So I want to use the thing where someone else has to activate the spring for you. That's kind of the idea behind it. So. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, if you have any questions, what you want to do. And if you want to check out my maps, uh, they should be the top island one. Uh, so my fortress is here, he has 16 votes now. Go down a bit, you get my estate, and if you go down a little bit more, you get my, uh, my racing course. So, goodbye people, thank you for watching.